Hi, I'm Karen. Back again with a really fun experiment you can do in the kitchen. It combines my two favorite things, science and gardening. So for this experiment, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make compost in a two liter bottle. This is some compost from my garden. It's nice and rich and brown. It's very friable. There's a few little sticks and some roots in there, but don't worry about that. Uh, those will all decay when you put it in your garden and it turns into even better soil. For this experiment, you're going to need to collect some green refuge. This is all from uh, vegetables that I was preparing for my supper. And so I've got some chopped up celery leaves, some chopped up carrot peels, I've got some onion uh, skins and things like that. Also some fruits you could do, any kind of fruit or vegetable that you're preparing in your kitchen. Then you're going to need some brown. So those things are classified as green. They're a really good source of carbon. And now we need a nitrogen source. And so what we're gonna collect is maybe some torn up paper towels, uh, a little bit of soil maybe from your garden uh, or your yard and some dried leaves. This time of year, there's lots of dried leaves still floating around. So those are the components that you're going to put inside your two liter bottle. So to prepare your two liter bottle, you're going to first need a nail, some scissors, uh, some sort of tongs or something to hold the nail while you get it hot. You don't wanna burn your fingers, right? I also have a little handy hot pad so I can set my hot nail on it. And some duct tape. What we're going to do is first thing, cut off the top of your two liter bottle right where it's sort of making, uh, becoming narrow. Now here's a funny thing that happens when you cut off the top of a two liter bottle, it doesn't fit back on. I know, cuckoo, right? So what happens is when they're forming this two liter bottle out of a single piece of plastic, it's uh, under some tension. And when you cut that off, that tension's gone. So what you're going to need to do are make some little pleats. That's why I have these funny pieces of tape around. So I just took my scissors, made about an inch cut, four different places around, and then I just overlapped the two pieces, sort of making a little pleat. And then to hold it shut, I, I used a piece of duct tape. All right, and then I put one more piece of duct tape right there to sort of make a flip top hinge. So I made sure that my uh, lid would stay on, okay? Now the other thing that we're going to need, you don't need the cap because we need to have air. There's really some important things you need to have for compost to form, which is really just decayed organic matter, right? You need to have heat, you need to have air, and you need to have moisture. So, but not too much moisture. So that's why we're getting to the next step. We don't need the cap because we're going to want to have that air coming in and out of our bottle, right? So to make some drainage holes at the bottom, all I did was take my nail and I heated up the pointy end in a flame. You could use a um, lighter, you could use a gas burner, you could use a pour paint torch, whatever you have. But make sure you have some parental help with this because it gets pretty hot. And then I just held the hot nail right into, there's five little um, kind of a flower shape at the bottom. Can you see that? And I put one hole in each one of those little petals of the flower. When you're done, be sure to put it on something that won't uh, burn. So that's where the hot pad comes in. Okay, excellent. So now you've got your compost container ready to fill. So I always start with some, um, some soil. So this has gotten some kind of mud and I just got some soil and I'm gonna to put that in the bottom, just like that. And I've got a little bit of that paper toweling in there. That's my brown matter. Then I'm going to put a layer of the green matter. So I've got my carrot peels and I've got my celery bits. And the smaller that you cut your little waste pieces, the faster it will compost. So that's just a tip. Um, and then we're gonna do a layer of the brown again. And then we'll put some more of the green and just layer it up until it's uh, not completely full, right? You want to uh, make sure that there's some space for it to swirl around. Because the other thing you're going to do is you're going to have to uh, mix this up every day or so. However you want to do it. There we go. This is looking good, yeah. I'm already imagining the rich dark soil that's gonna be coming out of this. Excellent. So we've got our, our layers, right? You can see 
brown, green, brown, green, brown. There we go. Now, add a little bit of water, not too much, because you don't want to saturate it and it becomes really icky and, and sticky and gooey, right? And then put your lid back on. And now you're going to use some duct tape to help it stay on, because you don't want to have this coming apart on you when you're giving it your shakes every day, right? So after you get your duct tape on there, nice and strong, there we go. You're going to place this in a nice bright, now I had some water that was leaking out, so it might be a good tip to put this on a little plate when you put it on your windowsill so you don't ruin the finish on the windowsill, right? Or you could put it outside on a uh, sunny porch, any place is good that's gonna have nice sun. So here's the fun part, you're gonna give it a shake, cover up that hole, you don't want it coming out, right? Give it a shake every once in a while, and then sit it in that sunny window and wait. Now this is where the fun experiments come in. After you create it, I always make, make notes of the date that I started and what I put in it. And then you can come up with a hypothesis. Hmm, which of those items that I put in there do you think is going to decay the fastest? Will be the paper toweling, maybe the lettuce. Uh, oh, I don't know about the orange peel, it's pretty thick. So think about the materials you put in there and rank them. What's gonna disappear first and what's going to disappear last? And as you watch it over the next few weeks, you should be able to, you can untape it and look inside, pour it out, have a look and see what's decaying, put it all back in there and keep going. Within a few weeks, you'll have wonderful compost. Well, what do you do with compost? Glad you asked. You can put it on your plants, your house plants around it. It's great fertilizer. You could put it on plants that are growing outside. If you have a garden, you could put it on pots that are growing outside in pots or in your um, shrubbery, around the shrubbery. It makes great garden amendments. Like I said, gardener's goal and experiments you can do with stuff around the house. Thanks for joining me.